G'day folks, uh, this little vid is for uh, a friend of mine uh, on IRC, uh, goes by the name Australian Stig or Hamish Fry, um, he's in the geek group IRC and has a YouTube channel, a bit of electronic stuff, that sort of thing, he's a tinkerer like most of us. Um, he sent me some DLP chips to have a look at under the scope. Uh, one of them is exactly the same as the one that I've got up there, this is out of a Toshiba. Uh, I'll still have another quick look at that again. But he's also sent a pair of these Sony pass-through ones, which are kind of cool. There's not a lot to see on them, like that mess there is actually where I tore that flat flex off. Um, you can see adhesive and a couple of the contact pads left there. They've even got markings on them. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're even resistive, that could be a value or something. But as it comes across, I'm coming that way. It will go out of focus. That's the start of the glass edge. Yeah. You can see some junctions or something there. So there's steps in the glass. There's about three layers to it, and it steps down on the side of the die. Well, the cut packaging, anyway, the die's further in. That's. I don't know what you are. These little rectangular bits. It's a bit of black mask. Let me get further in towards the die itself. Really hard to focus on. I need to make a sturdy amount for this camera because the slightest bit of wiggle just ruins it. Anyway, that's sort of a no man's land. That one's a bit better. This is starting to get towards the uh, operating surface of the DLP. I'm not even on the pass-through bit yet. This is all just leading up. I'm not sure what that zone is there, but it doesn't want to focus. You can see a little... Um, what must be transistor junctions and things like that on there. It basically big integrated circuit, so these will all be transistor junctions. I don't know an awful lot about DLP, especially not the um, technology be behind how the chip itself's made. But coming across, hang on, various different arrangements. Still not on the actual pass through surface. Now we're getting closer. This is the very edge. And that, oops, I bumped it too far. That's actually the back of the mask and probably even the housing because this is still permanently stuck to its housing that's actually the pass-through surface and the white background is a piece of copy paper so yeah it's all no man's land now until we get to the other side oops there's the other side and back off again this bugger all at the top of the chip I'm looking at getting a subscription for Adobe Premiere. Uh, I'm after an all-in-one suite and it looks like I'm going to have to shell out a bit of money for it. I don't want to buy the whole $7,000 worth of software outright, but they do have a pay-by-the-month thing, so that would be neat to try out before investing. Because I would like to make video making easier, and all the big YouTubers seem to be using Premiere. So, yeah. That looks like adhesive. Look at the globiness of it. It's been deposited on by a machine. That's probably holding the pass-through part of the die or the, the chip onto the um, backing. As we come back, that's where the flat flex goes. Where's that other one? Oh, I haven't removed the uh, connector. Oh, sorry, there's a top plate on it. We need a better stand for this camera. Oops, there we go. There's a very grotty looking flat flex. Yeah. 
I left the metal shield on it. And now the light's reflecting. Anyway, that's the flat flex ribbon. And the original style one, as you can see there, there's the lead wires. This is on the gold top one. And that's the actual die itself. You can see all those little mirrors. The pass through ones must obviously rotate filters perhaps to let certain wavelengths of light through to create the colours on the screen. These ones here reflect them. Oh, look at those little gold wires. So pretty. Yet you can virtually you virtually cannot see them with the naked eye. That's the gold casing. Yeah, looking at it you cannot you can see the pads around the outside. These little overly shaped things. But you cannot see those strands unless you've got a really good eyesight. I've got good eyesight and I cannot see them. So that gives you an idea of the resolution of this camera. You don't get much depth when you're focusing at these levels. You only get that but not that. But for a $60 eBay USB microscope, this thing is really cool. Let's have a look at that edge connection. There we go. You can see the little bonding pads along the side and then that is the die itself, the chip. Almost looks like they've got little jumpers coming over the tops of some of them. Maybe a common power bus, negative rail, something like that. Anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't really have much else to show because the pass through ones are kind of boring. Um, yeah, I mean, I tried to pull one apart, but without smashing up all the glass, it's not going to come apart, and then there's not much to look at. So, uh, yeah. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. I should have some more content coming soon. I've just been really busy and really cold. It's, uh, yeah, coming in late, it gets cold real quick, and you don't want to do much. So, yeah, excuse the lack of videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.